हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इन दिस वीडियो आई विल कवर गेट 2016 इंडस्ट्रियल इंजीनियरिंग पार्ट आई विल कवर ऑलरेडी सेट वन एंड सेट टू कंप्लीटेड दिस इज सेट थ्री क्वेश्चन इज इन एरिया इन परसेंटेज अंडर स्टैंडर्ड नॉर्मल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन कर्व ऑफ रैंडम वेरिएबल जेड विद इन लिमिट्स फ्रॉम माइनस थ्री टू प्लस थ्री सो और नॉर्मल कर like this minus 3 to plus 3 so minus 3 to plus 3 standard normal curve so z sorry sigma plus 3 to minus 3 it will cover maximum 99.73% this is your answer this is Ninety nine point seven three percent. This is important for other exam also. For IAS also, this is very very important. For standard deviation, plus to minus three, it's ninety nine percent. Ninety nine point seven three percent it will cover. And for plus two to minus two, it will cover ninety five point four five percent. And plus one to minus one, it will cover. Sixty-eight point eighty-eight percent area it will cover. These three, all three are important. In part third, the activity time distribution is its beta distribution. Part third activity time is beta distribution, and project is in part third project is project is normal distribution. Part third. Part project is normal distribution. And for binomial distribution, it's P chart, and Poisson's distribution, it's C chart. All four are important. The demand for a two-wheeler was nine hundred units and one zero three zero units in April two thousand fifteen and May two thousand fifteen, respectively. The forecast for the month of April two thousand fifteen was eight fifty units, considering. A smoothing constant 0.6. The forecast for the month of June is how much? So we will start from April, then May, then June. Finally, we have to calculate. So we will write April here, then May, then June. April here demand is D of April. Demand in April is nine hundred units, and in May, demand in May is one zero three zero units, and forecast for the month April is forecast F for April. It's eight fifty units. We have to calculate F for June, or we can. Take as April zero May one then June two D zero is nine hundred F zero is eight fifty and your D one is one zero three zero F two we have to calculate and smoothing constant alpha is zero point six. In two methods we can solve this question. In method one. Our formula is F n is F n minus one plus alpha into D n minus one minus F n minus one. So from here, first we will calculate forecasting for the month month of May. F one is F n minus one is F zero alpha into D zero minus F zero. Demand of April and demand of Sorry, forecasting of April. So first we will get F one or forecasting of May, month May. Then again by using F one you will calculate F two. F two is for June. You have to write F one plus 
alpha into d1 minus f1 in two steps you will get your answer f2 you have to calculate one more formula also you can use directly you will get fn equal to here it's f0 1 minus alpha to the power n plus d o into alpha into into 1 minus alpha it's to the power 0 uh, no no here it's it will come 1 here it will come n minus 1 then d1 alpha 1 minus alpha to the power n minus 2 like this dn minus 1 alpha then 1 minus alpha to the power 0 it will come so no need to write that one so here in this case n equal to 2 so f2 is f0 into 1 minus alpha to the power 2 do do into alpha into 1 minus alpha 2 minus 1 it's 1 then your d1 alpha into 2 minus 2 it's 0 so this much only directly you just put the values f0 value then f0 value is your 850 into 1 minus 0 0.6 square plus 1030 into it's D0 is 900 900 into your alpha is 0 0.6 into 1 minus 0 0.6 plus 1030 D1 and alpha is 0 0.6 if you solve this one you will get your answer 970 this is your answer this technique I am telling because if number of steps is more then this this technique is useful in fast technique also only three lines are there April May June three steps so fast technique also you will get same answer and second techniques if number of steps are more second techniques is very very useful so answer is D. Question is a farm uses a turning center, a milling center and a grinding machine to produce two parts. The table below provides the machining time required for each part and the maximum machining time available on each machine. The profit per unit on part I and double I are RS40 and RS100 respectively. The maximum profit per week of, of the farm is in RS we have to answer so types of machine given turning center milling center and grinding center machining time requires also given maximum time also available that also given so first we will write in our tabular form so I and double I we will write I here double I I will write in X1 double I will write X2 so turning first, turning then your milling, then grinding. So in table, so here how much it's 12 then 6 4 10 2 3 maximum given 6000 then 4000 then 1800 profit is 40 and 100 so you write here for i it's 40 then double i it's 100 then we will write down our equations. First equation is this one. This is 12x1 plus 
सिक्स सिक्स टू मैक्सिमम सो इट्स लेस देन इक्वल टू सिक्स थाउजेंड दिस इज इक्वेशन वन देन दिस वन सेकेंड फोर एक्स वन प्लस टेन एक्स टू इज लेस देन फोर थाउजेंड देन थर्ड वन इट्स टू एक्स वन प्लस थ्री एक्स टू लेस देन इक्वल टू वन एट डबल जीरो देन दिस इज फॉर मैक्सिमम सो जेड मार्क्स जेड मार्क्स इज दिस इज आर ऑब्जेक्टिव फोर्टी एक्स वन प्लस हंड्रेड एक्स टू दिस इज आर ऑब्जेक्टिव देन फॉर फ्रॉम ऑल थ्री इक्वेशन थ्री इक्वेशन वील गेट द कोऑर्डिनेट्स ऑफ एक्स एंड एक्स टू सो वी कैन री राइट दिस वन एक्स वन बाई सिक्स थाउजेंड बाई टूल्व प्लस एक्स टू बाई सिक्स थाउजेंड बाई सिक्स लेस देन इक्वल टू वन एक्स वन बाई इट विल कम फाइव हंड्रेड फाइव हंड्रेड प्लस एक्स टू डिवाइडेड बाय वन थाउजेंड इज लेस देन वन दिस इज इक्वेशन वन देन फ्रॉम हियर यू विल गेट इक्वेशन टू हियर यू विल गेट इक्वेशन थ्री दिस इज आवर एम मैक्सिमाइज द प्रॉफिट देन फॉर फोर एक्स वन प्लस टेन एक्स टू इज लेस देन इक्वल टू फोर थाउजेंड यू विल गेट इक्वेशन टू एंड फ्रॉम टू एक्स वन प्लस थ्री एक्स टू इज लेस देन वन एट डबल जीरो यू विल गेट इक्वेशन थ्री देन वी विल पुट द कोऑर्डिनेट्स देन फ्रॉम इक्वेशन वन वी विल राइट आवर कोऑर्डिनेट्स अप टू वन थाउजेंड मार्क्स सो फाइव हंड्रेड वन थाउजेंड दिस साइड ऑल्सो वील राइट फाइव हंड्रेड एंड वन थाउजेंड सो फ्रॉम इक्वेशन वन फर्स्ट एक्स वन कोऑर्डिनेट इज फाइव हंड्रेड एक्स टू कोऑर्डिनेट इज टेन थाउजेंड सॉरी वन थाउजेंड बोथ आर लेस देन वन सो टूअर्ड्स जीरो टूल टूअर्ड्स जीरो देन फ्रॉम सेकेंड सेकेंड इक्वेशन एक्स वन इज वन थाउजेंड एक्स टू इज फोर थाउजेंड फोर थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड फोर हंड्रेड विल कम हियर देन इट्स ऑल्सो लेस देन इक्वल टू जीरो सो टूअर्ड्स लेस देन इक्वल टू वन सो टूअर्ड्स जीरो देन फ्रॉम थर्ड इक्वेशन एक्स वन इज नाइन हंड्रेड नाइन हंड्रेड इट विल कम हियर एक्स टू इज सिक्स हंड्रेड हियर इट विल कम सो इट्स ऑल्सो लेस देन वन सो टूअर्ड्स जीरो इट्स एरो इज टूअर्ड्स जीरो सो our area is this one we can write a b b point is here then c then o it should be a b c o area so then we have to calculate z maximum for a point for a point z maximum is coordinates are 14 into x1 is 0 Plus hundred into x two coordinate is four hundred. So hundred into four hundred. This is zero. You will get this is hundred into four hundred. You will get double zero. Then double zero. It's forty thousand. Then for C point, Z value is maximum value is forty into x1 is 500 x2 is 0 so 100 into 0 you will get 20 then triple zero 20000 so maximum is this one 40000 so from option we will check which is maximum maximum is maximum profit per week in rs Fill in the blank type. So you just write forty thousand. This is your answer. This is the end of set three. Thank you, friends. Thank you for watching my video. Thank you.